Hello, 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 my darlings. Daniela here, Redesign Your Life Forever. And welcome to Wisdom Wednesdays, where I'm sharing with you the wisdom and tools to be helping you on your spiritual journey. So tonight, speaking of which, we are diving into the worst mistake that you could be making on your spiritual slash growth journey. Are you making it and don't know it? We're going to find out tonight. I've got my trusty notepad here so I don't get off topic, hopefully. Wink, wink. <laughs> and uh, we're just going to dive right in. So as you can see, I'm, I'm all bundled up, as I'm sure most of you are. So I'm going to make this uh, nice and short so we can stay all toasty. <laughs> Go back to hopefully that you are bundled up uh, under some covers. And uh, we're just going to dive right in. So, you know, I've worked with people on and off for years and almost all of them I have to say uh, were were making the same mistake that was keeping them stuck that was keeping them plateaued out in their life and the kind of results that they were seeing from their practice basically they were stuck in a place that they they still didn't want to be in um, they didn't enjoy being where they were in life um, and one way or another they, they wanted out and they just did not get what it was that they were missing, right? So this is something that we've all done. I've done it. You're probably doing it. We've all done it. So if you hear something that sounds a little familiar, maybe in the description in a few moments, don't get down on yourself, okay? Because we've all done it. We've all been there. Um, and Recognizing it can actually be a very valuable tool for you because once you've recognized it, now you have the power to change it because you can see it. It's there. You're like, okay, I see it. There it is. Now we can actually address it if we choose to do so. So what is this mistake? Hey, Miss Kelly, what is this mistake? that can put a permanent damper, <laughs> a stopper and blocker on all of your dreams, basically keeping them from seeing the light of day. What is that thing? That thing is staying the same person. What the hell, Daniela? That's what you're saying, right? You're like, staying the same person? What does that mean? <laughs> right? How, how does that even work? Like, how, how could you you know, be a different person while you're working on being a different person from where you are? And that is a great question, okay? Let me explain it this way. Imagine if you will. Most people, see if this is you, they wake up on the same side of the bed, they get out, they get on the same side of the bed, they shuffle around to the bathroom and they do the same routine and the same order that they do every day, you know, they shower and if you shower, you shower in the same kind of mundane routine that you did yesterday, okay, you always do. And you know, and then you shuffle over to the mirror and you look at yourself in the mirror just to make sure you still look how you think you ought to look, you know, just uh, check yourself, see if you know who you still are in the mirror, right? And then maybe you bumble on downstairs, people, you know, they bumble on downstairs and, and they, you know, they, they get their, their morning hot drink of choice, you know, and we drink it out of the same cup that we've been drinking it out of for the past 20 years. It's our favorite cup and, uh, wouldn't drink anything out of any other cup. And then, you know, you bumble on and you get ready for work and you, you take, you know, you get in your car and you, you take the same route to work that you've taken for God knows how long. And then you get to work, you know, and it's the same job that you've done for God knows how long, you know, and uh, doing the same thing, probably, for well over a decade or more, more or less the same job, you know. And of course, you know, now you're dealing with people that you've dealt with day in and day out, and they're all pushing the exact same buttons that they've pushed day in and day out, all those same emotional, hormonal triggers, you know, that make you mad and or whatever they do, they frustrate you and that makes you think the same thoughts that you thought the last time that happened and that makes you feel the same way the last time you felt that or thought that way. 
which in combination makes you perform or carry out the same actions that you did before. Ultimately, when you look at it that way, are you the same person today as you were yesterday? Have you done the exact same actions in more or less the exact same order that you did yesterday? Is your life so routined that everything is so built in that it's actually more or less muscle memory and you don't even have to think about it? Then you're the same person. You're the same energy. You are working off of the same vibrational rate as you were the day before. Yet, expecting new things to come into your life. Expecting new and different results than from what you're getting out of those same actions. That, my friends, is called insanity. <laughs> Here we go. Doing the same thing over and over again, but yet expecting a different result. We're all nuts. That's okay. It's just, it's the world that's made us all nuts. It's okay. We've all been there. So don't feel bad. That is the point. Don't feel bad. We've all been there. So now, of course, the question comes, if you find yourself in this position, you're like, holy shit, okay, you're right. You know, I'm vibrating day after day on the same level. I'm thinking the same thoughts. I'm feeling the same emotions. You know, people are pushing the same buttons. I get pissed off about the same things over and over again, day after day. What do I do about it? That's a great question. <laughs> How do you be somebody else? Well, the answer is through practice. Practice, meditation, and visualization. And doing that pretty much daily. Daily. And that is something that I know in this world is easier said than done. Taking the time, being accountable to yourself, being accountable to your future, being accountable to your dreams, can be easier said than done in this world that really revolves around the now, 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 and what's going on in the physical reality of the world. Like, what is, you know, pulling your attention? What bills do you need to pay? What do the kids need? Who's crying? What's happening? You know, who's cooking dinner? You know, I know that it is easier said than done uh, in this world where all of these distractions from the physical world are pulling at you and you feel like you don't have time to be accountable to yourself. But that is where you are going to find your results and your success is when you start taking those small actions, but being accountable to yourself. And in that vein, I'm actually bringing to uh, the group here an offering to the group that um, is something that I do more or less in person pretty often throughout the year. And that is um, a private group session where we all get together and uh, we share support and uh, have that, have each other's backs and we go through a practice. So that way you have uh, me, the person that is showing you the practice there to answer any questions that you have, but also more importantly is so that you can see how that practice of meditation or whatever it is, energy clearing, there's gonna be all kinds of things that um, will do. So check out the post that I made earlier about be the light and there's going to be more information there. Um, but point is, is that you are practicing the things that are going to ultimately be able to change how you feel so that you know what that feels like. So that as you go throughout your day, you can call that back up and go, you know what, instead of feeling X, Y, and Z, because such and such and so and so has, you know, said or done the thing that they always do that pisses me off, <laughs> right? Um, you can choose to f say, you know what, let me see if I can't remember that feeling from that meditation that we did the other day. You know, I really liked how I felt. And let's see if I can conjure up that feeling instead. And when you make those different decisions, when you make those different choices to think a different way and feel a different way and therefore make those different actions, making a different action than the person you were yesterday would have, that is where you're going to find that there, bleh, is where you're going to find your results. 
because then you are no longer vibrating on the same level as you were yesterday. You're not the same person. And that allows for the new to come into your life. Those opportunities to actually start showing themselves for you to then take more action on that the old you would not have made that decision. So it even continues to reinforce itself. The more you do it, the more that happens that gives you the opportunity to continue to do it more and more and more. So check out that post because that is going to be coming up. And I know that there have a lot of, been a lot of you that have uh, been really hungry for that kind of thing where it's uh, we get together monthly, uh, virtual, private group, and uh, you get the support that you need. We're going to share and do uh, practices and energy clearings and things like that uh, to get you into the practice. Because guess what? You, it's not me. I want to teach you how to fish. Okay? I'm not here to do it for you. I'm here to teach you how so that you can do it yourself because you are equally as powerful as anybody else. You are the cosmos in human form. Okay? Phenomenal cosmic power. Itty bitty living space. Okay? That's what we're working with here. So you have the power to make changes in your life. More often than not, it's about having the tools and having the accountability and the support. The support is crucial to making your dreams actually happen and fulfilling your role and your purpose of being a creator of your own life, which is why we're even here, to come down and create. We were made in the creator's image. What, are that, what does that mean? We're creators. So what should we be doing? Creating shit. Period. <laughs> That's just a little bit of my philosophy. The point being, the worst mistake you're making is you're staying on that same vibrational level. You're staying the same person. Instead of vibrating at a new level and being able to bring in those new things that you're looking to bring in. I also want to make sure that I mention to you that we have got that interactive group challenge that's coming up here for Valentine's Day. That's the Loving on Myself self-care challenge. Um, and that is coming up, interactive group challenge, where basically I am going to be setting up posts which uh, share and show five different ways that you can show some loving on yourself in your life that day. And all you have to do is take a photograph of yourself, Karen on yourself, post it in the comments and you will be entered to win if you work with us and play with us all five days that you'll be entered to win one of two fabulous prizes which is going to be that from the roots up meditation foundations audio course or the emergency toolkit the survivor's guide to ascension and that's going to be a fabulous ebook that i have and will be continuing to put together for you so that is coming up um do, 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 do. I just want to make sure and check all my notes that I haven't missed anything that I want to share with you all tonight. I believe that is it. So go check out that Be The Light post that I made earlier today. Go check that out. Check it out. Check it out. Um, and keep an eye out for the group challenge. Otherwise, my lovelies, I will see you in the virtual ethernets. Thank you so much for joining me here for Wisdom Wednesdays. Check us out next week and I will see you all later. Have a fabulous night. Stay warm. I love you all. Mwah.